beautiful souls, it's Sam here from The Singer's Piano and welcome to Awaken Your Creative Soul, the healing side of piano singing and songwriting for self-expression. And today we're talking about how you can access your mixed voice for a smoother bridge in your vocal range, which allows more self-expression and more emotional release. So whether you're struggling to belt those high notes, maybe you have a limited range, or you simply want a wider range of dynamics in your voice, how do you access this part of your singing voice so you can sing with more ease? Now this is so important and it's often overlooked in singing lessons because we're so focused on diaphragmatic breathing or getting the, the vocal tone correct, but for a lot of my audience, you still have a gap in your bridge section of your vocals. So let me explain a little bit more about that. Often students come to me and they can either sing really loudly with their chest voice or they can sing really loudly with their head voice, but they really struggle with that bridge. And I'm gonna show with you what the bridge is. So the bridge is often from kind of E up into E. And you may hear this, la 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 la, and you kind of struggle there. And then you go, la 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 kind of get kind of that chest voice in that head, but you struggle with that gap. I struggled with it for years. So I'm going to show you my top three exercises to help you find your mixed voice so that you are able to sing with a blended voice. Now, before I turned pro, I really struggled. I had the chest voice and I had the head voice, but I didn't have the mixed voice. And in all honesty, I knew a lot of people that had classical lessons who could do it effortlessly. And I thought it was just something that happened naturally. It wasn't until I ended up with a, an incredible opera singer that she introduced me to the mixed voice. And so I'm gonna teach you the very first lesson that she taught me, which is called the aeroplane. And if you've been following me, you know I'm really big on vocal tone and where we place things in our skull. So this is a really great exercise because not only does it show you how to find your mixed voice, but it also shows you how to place your voice to the front of your skull so that you can really project. The first thing is you want to do the aeroplane and you're kind of going, Sam, what is an aeroplane? <laughs> let me explain, let me explain. So the aeroplane is where there's kind of three elements to this first exercise. The first one is a hum. Now this is so important. You don't wanna skip over this. And you want to imagine that you are in an aeroplane and your engine has just started. So you wanna ideally start on the F. So here is, here is your F. I'm mainly doing this for females. Men, if you wanna do this exercise, you might wanna kind of go down to the, the B or the C. We're just gonna do a light hum. Actually, let's do it on an E. And it's very important when you do that hum that you vibrate at the front of your skull. Mm, it should feel a bit tickly. Mm. So that's your aeroplane engine starting. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna go into an oo, and you wanna make sure that the oo is placed forward. So it will sound like this. Mm, ooh, mm, ooh. Can you hear how forward that is placed? So that is where your aeroplane is now taking off onto the runway. So we're now going super, super fast on the oo with our aeroplane. The third part of this exercise is going to be taking off and we want to do it with a slur. So it's gonna sound something like this. Can you hear that slur? What you don't want, you don't wanna have a yodel. So sometimes I hear my students do this. Can you hear that? Ooh, that's like a yodel. It's got a slur because otherwise what happens is you go from your chest voice to your head voice and you miss that placement. It's almost like the what's happening is, is the aeroplane is coming up now and you want to hit that cloud. So you don't want to go over the clouds, which is your head voice. And you don't want to be under the clouds, which is your chest voice. You want to actually be in the clouds, which is your mixed voice. So we have to go through the clouds to get into the clouds. So we need to slur. So let's try that again on the, on the E. that sound forward. The second exercise is I want you now 
Once we're in the clouds is we're gonna change the vowel sounds. And we're gonna do this very, very slowly. So we're gonna start with an O to an E to an O. So again, we'll start with that aeroplane. Great, excellent. If you start to sound breathy, it means that you are in your head voice. So you wanna keep going until it doesn't sound breathy. And then finally, the third exercise is we are going to introduce it to a song. So I'm just gonna make something up on the ranges from my bridge, from my from my lower E, so I'm gonna show you my hands, from my lower E to this to the C. So so sometimes I think about you. Here you could take your chest voice up sometimes, but again, like I'm feeling like like my throat, there's a lot of vocal tension there, it's really closed, and I will get a sore throat if I sing there. Now I could sing it with my head voice. Sometimes I think about you. That's my head voice, nice and breathy. I want power. I imagine this is a, a massive ballad. Sometimes I think about you. Sometimes. That's my mixed voice. So it's, I've really got my voice open at the back, but I'm also in the clouds. Sometimes ah, so some is ah, times ah, sometimes I ah, again, think e ah, about ah, sometimes I think ah. I might do the ah in my chest voice. We're really only going to be using our mixed voice for the C and the B. Ah, e, I, ah, e. If we were to do the aeroplane. find your placement, you find where the vowel sounds is, you get into that mixed voice. Sometimes I like to use a ya. Because it helps me to kind of get more of an attack with that sound. Once I found the mixed voice and I found the RRE, I will then add the words. Sometimes I think, and then I'll move to the chest voice, which is fine, I can do that really well. But the mixed voice is tricky. So that's how you introduce the mixed voice in your practicing when you're starting to use a song. Now listen, I really, really, really would encourage you to make sure that you practice the songs line by line. You're not gonna be able to introduce your mixed voice straight away to the whole song. You have to take it line by line, vowel by vowel, very, very slowly take a step, one step at a time to do that. So just to conclude, we did the aeroplane exercise where we did the humming, then we did the slur. The second exercise that we did was going from the oo to the e to the oo and then changing the vowel songs. Ooh, ee, 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 I, oh, you. Ooh, ee, ee, I, oh, you. And changing them from e to oo, a to oo, e to a to oo, kind of those things. And then finally we implemented that exercise with a line of a song, something that you're really struggling with and you want to apply that mixed voice. So if you have loved this video, I am actually doing a free PDF guide teaching you how to sing, accompany your voice on the piano without reading a note of music and writing your own songs for self-expression. Just click on the link below and you can download the free PDF guide. And if you've enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe. Until next time, bye.